Plan B is set to release his UK smash, The Defamation of Strickland Banks in the US. The album is a soul record with undertones of hip hop, which has captured the imagination of the UK, pushing the collection to triple platinum status in that country. Plan B told Artisan News he's taking a cinematic approach to the project. Plan B, whose real name is Ben Drew, appeared in the movie Harry Brown alongside Michael Caine and is a legit player in the film world. He said he's hoping to combine the music and acting with Strickland Banks. Do you know what, like, I've acted in films, so as soon as, as, soon as you say to yourself, look, I'm playing a character in a film, then it, it becomes easy, I think. If I just kind of started doing this music and there was no story set in place and it, it wasn't based around this character Strickland Max and I, I think yeah it would have been difficult but because I created I created this whole kind of world for this character to live in you know when I started putting on these suits and, and started performing these songs live I felt comfortable because I felt I felt like I was I was playing a character in the film, do you know what I mean? He also said the role starts with the clothes and he sees differences between Plan B and Strickland Banks. And so now every time I, I put on this this kind of get up, I feel like, you know, that's what I'm that's who I'm portraying. I'm portraying this guy Strickland Banks rather than Plan B. I think Plan B is is my artist name. You know, as an artist that's that's what I call myself. And right now, you know, I'm doing a concept album about a soul singer Strickland Banks, so when I have this stuff on, that's who I am, I'm Strickland Banks. That's the way I feel about it, you know. So that's just how it makes it a lot easier if, if you if you approach it in that way. He said back in Britain he had a large concept about the idea. Oh man, yeah, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare because, like I said, I, I'm kind of make films as well. Yeah, I act and make films. And when I'm coming to the record label in the UK and I'm saying, "Yo, here's my album," and um, it's a concept album, and I want to make a film around it. Obviously, you know the. Their instinct is, is going to be to try and convince me not to do that, you know what I mean? Because it's hard to do that. It's, it's hard to kind of make an album that also has a kind of narrative to it and a story to it. Unless you're someone like me who who has a love of film, a knowledge of film and, and you know, um, directs and, and writes kind of film scripts. And I think for, for the label at the time, it was uncharted territory, you know, and, and me as an artist, I had to stay strong-willed, I had to be stubborn and, and force the issue through, that, you know, we, we had to make sure that the story was told. And to their credit, they assisted me with that. The defamation of Strickland Banks is slated to be released in the U.S. this April. Rejected. Had a heart broken by someone she's obsessed with. Cause she likes the sound of my music. She makes her a fan of my music. So I love those diamonds to lose it. Cause she can't separate the man from the